Alrighty, so it's story time. So as you could see, right when we got there and we started filming, a flip-flop fell from the heavens above and almost hit us. I have no idea where this came from. I'm assuming Slingshot because Windseeker was down and not operational. Very confusing, but let's get right to the construction update. Lots is going on today. This may be my most action-packed construction update to date. So it's a long one. I'm only going to talk through some of it. I'm going to explain what happened today and then watch all the footage. There's some really good nerd shots of the uh, transfer track and some other parts of the station zoomed in. You're going to want to watch those. So as you can see, they're loading up the turn out of the station to be shipped into the park tomorrow. Um, and you'll see why. So a lot of you were shocked when I said that the lift hill will at least be started or finished by next Thursday. A lot of you were like, no, that's impossible. Well, just wait and see because the brake run is done. Well, the clamp part of the uh, the brake run is done. Clamp clamps. <laughs> They're going to now work on the turn of the station because the magnetic part of the brake run doesn't seem to be going in anytime soon. It looks like they're going to now do the turn of the station, then the pre-lift and all that. Today, a lift hill piece also arrived. So they've added a third driver and it looks like track is actually arriving almost every day now, which is insane. So... <laughs> This coaster is off to a very quick start. The construction crew, the crane operator, um, the, the, the delivery, the truck deliveries are all doing an amazing job. It's it's like literally one day you go there and it's one piece of track installed. The next day you go, there's like several pieces of track installed. It's absolutely insane. The transfer shed or sorry, the storage shed is like nearing completion. The station is nearing like completion as well in terms of the brake run station and transfer track. And then now they're going to start working on the turnout of the station. So in the footage coming up, you're going to see they're hosting uh, two parts that they attached together and then they lifted them in place. So this is actually two pieces of track installed together um, that they then lifted together after install, after being installed together or attached. And they installed them onto the support columns. Uh, as you can see, the transfer shed is coming along nicely. In fact, they'll probably be installing the roof. They have two separate teams now. They are in a rush, and it's very interesting as to why they're in a rush. So we're hearing that the lift hill is going to be done by Labor Day. So I don't understand why they're in a rush. It seems like they're well ahead. Um, but yeah, they have two teams. So one team was working on the storage shed, and the other team was working on actually putting in track. So it looks like this coaster is going to come along really quickly, and this lift hill most likely will be nearing completion or at least decently started by next Thursday. That's what we're hearing from the uh, the people on the team and people at Wonderland. So this is crazy. It's it's moving along super fast. What do you guys think? Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen a coaster going up this quickly and this soon. I'm super intrigued as to what Frontier Canada is going to hold because we, we're hearing that Frontier Canada hasn't been announced at all in terms of theming. Um, stores, shops, any elements and all that. The station isn't even accurate in the POV we're hearing. So I'm super interested in all that coming to Frontier Canada. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I'm missing in terms of the construction site. I don't think so. So we have that new lift piece that came in today. Uh, the brake run, two pieces of brake run were installed and uh, two pieces for the turn of the station are going to be shipped into this area tomorrow morning and I assume they'll put the support columns up and actually put those track pieces in place. Again, I filmed this at 12 p.m. There was no sign of this being installed on, um, sorry, Monday when I went. Tuesday it rained and they did not do construction and I, I know they didn't. Um, and so between Monday and today, uh, with very little time, like maybe six hours of construction, they had this all done. So that's phenomenal. I, I can't believe it. Uh, anyways, uh, again, there's some nerd shots and you can watch them installing this track piece throughout the remainder of the video. There are some great shots of the storage area, how it works and how the station bits, the, the combs and the lowering platforms of the station. I got some really cool shots of that if you want to continue watching that. Anyways, as usual, thanks for watching my video. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. And thanks so much to the crane driver and crane operator, um, Aboriginal905 on Instagram. Go check him out. He's absolutely uh, insane with his video updates. And uh, man, this must take a lot of intelligence to do. Uh, it's phenomenal to watch how they actually build this coaster and put it together so up close. So thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.